Good evening uh, from London and hello from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duce Idea, chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association and official delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK and president of the Association for the Study of Sangam Politics. And today, before the light finally fades... I'm going to give a short talk about the anniversary of the Down with Imperialism Union, which is uh, an extremely important anniversary uh, because the Down with Imperialism Union is the historical roots of today's Workers' Party of Korea, the party uh, that guides the Korean people to final victory. 95 years ago, on the 17th of October 1926, the great leader, President Kim Il-sung, founded the Down With Imperialism Union. As I said, this is an anniversary of great significance because the Down With Imperialism Union is the historical root of the Great Workers' Party of Korea, which recently celebrated, on the 10th of October, its 76th anniversary. Last year, it celebrated its 75th anniversary, as well as holding its 8th Congress this year in January. The Down With Imperialism Union, or DIU, is basically the foundation stone of the Workers' Party of Korea. It is significant that the DIU was formed at a time of great revolutionary upsurge in the world. For example, Britain witnessed the nine-day general strike in May 1926. Comrade Kim Jong-il referred to the significance of the foundation of the Down With Imperialism Union in his 1982 work titled The Workers' Party of Korea is a Duce-type revolutionary party which has inherited the glorious tradition of the DIU. And he wrote as follows... With the formation of the DIU, our people's revolutionary struggle embarked on a new road of development and our party began to strike its glorious roots. Our party has traversed the glorious course of struggle for over half a century since it took root with the formation of the DIU and on this road it has scored many of the most brilliant achievements of the century and has grown and strengthened as a powerful revolutionary party, united a rock firm and equipped with a wealth of experience. End of quote. The DIU was the first communist revolutionary organisation in Korea. The formation of the DIU marked clean break with the stagnant ideas of factionism, flunkyism and dogmatism. Thus, it was a decisive leap forward in the task of building a revolutionary working-class party in Korea. The DIU also broke with opportunism and also the national reformism of the bourgeois nationalists. As the great leader comrade Kim Il-sung said to the meeting that founded the DIU, irreconcilable contradictions exist between the imperialists and the people in the colonies and these contradictions are sharpening with the passage of time. Because these contradictions are antagonistic, they cannot be settled by any kind of compromise and will only be solved when imperialism is overthrown. End quotation. The foundation of the DIU was a breath of fresh air and heralded a new era in the com Korean Communist Movement and in the struggle for national liberation in Korea. No longer was the Korean Revolution held back by stale dogmatists and useless factionists. The Korean Revolution now advanced rapidly under the banner of the Juche idea. Really, the British left could learn a lot from the Down with Imperialism Union. Here in Britain, we have many factionalist groups which are divorced from the masses. The DIU essentially embodied the Duce idea in embryonic form. 
It was founded four years before the historic Kowloon meeting in June 1930, at which President Kim Il-sung made the speech, The Path of the Korean Revolution. The DIU uh, proudly proclaimed its aims were to win independence and liberation for Korea, to carry out the socialist revolution in Korea, to build socialism and communism in Korea, and to carry out the world revolution. Thus, for the first time, the lines of national liberation and socialist revolution were combined, and the relationship between the national tasks and international tasks of revolutionaries was affirmed. Today, the idea and spirit of the DIU are alive in people's career, Juche career, led by dear respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. The D- Democratic People's Republic of Korea and Workers' Party of Korea are pursuing the line of independence and anti-imperialism that was laid down by the DIU. The DPRK is the most independent country in the world. It is anti-imperialist. Whilst it is open to negotiations, the DPRK does not sell out its independence or indulge in unprincipled compromise. For example, three years after the DPRK-US summit, not a single nuke or intercontinental ballistic missile has been dismantled. The DPRK is firmly upholding the line of self-reliance and self-development. At the same time, the DPRK is internationalist. The Workers' Party of Korea is uniting with different Communist and Workers' Party. In the past, the DPRK has given assistance to Cuba, Vietnam, Egypt, Syria, Libya and the former People's Revolutionary Government of Grenada. The DPRK's record of proletarian internationalism is second to none. It is carrying forward the idea of the DIU on carrying out the world revolution. Glory to the 95th anniversary of the formation of the Dam with Imperialism Union. Long live the Workers' Party of Korea. Long live respected Marshal Kim Jong-un. Long live uh, Juche. And uh, thank you uh, for listening to this uh, video. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, Sungum 007, please subscribe and also to our affiliated channel, uh, KFA UK. Uh, and, you know, uh, we don't ask uh, for money, but uh, we have a publishing program on lulu.com. There'll be a, a link in the description. So, you know, please buy our our books uh, you can learn a lot more about Duke Chain people's career in them and you can find out more about the Duke Chain idea more about the reality of people's career by actually coming to our meetings and events and we'll be having a few of those coming up before the end of the year please check out Facebook and Twitter for them again thank you for listening and uh, have a great day a great evening if you're in the uk and see you around next time goodbye